And and if there was any sort of animosity between WCW and WWF fans in the, in the Attitude Era, the internet wasn't what it is now. Right. So it definitely wasn't but as there was, loud but, as what we're seeing. Yeah, yeah, I think that the the actually the um this that situation probably because when I remember it, you know you you know I mean again I mean in some ways it's it's not quite as stupid because when when WCW was winning the ratings, I mean it was like oh you know Ted Turner bought the ratings. You know, what I mean, almost like, you know, like that, that they stole the election from Trump type of thing. Right. I mean, right. that was the stuff that I would read. And I go like, that's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> now, like with the WCW, with the AEW and W, I don't hear people say like, oh, you know, they're they're buying ratings. I mean, I I have heard like this, the thing, oh, Tony Khan buys all the tickets and gives them all away, you know, and, and that was, you know, even from WWE wrestlers at first, when they first had their first um, when AEW first had their lines of success and they were doing really, really well coming out of the coming out of the gate you know mm -hmm. they would say that and it's like look if, if there were tons of freebies no we would find out about it immediately because one of the things with is people will tell you hey there's all these freebies out there right now you know mm -hmm. so it's like that kind of stuff um it's it's um you know but people are going to say it like like people are going to say that because they're going to be on on you know yeah the tribalism is is Oh, the tribalism, Dave. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's it's so bad. I know. I know. Yeah. Like I I don't know why we can't all just agree that, hey, we are wrestling fans. We enjoy watching pro wrestling. And whatever letters or words are attached to that, whether it's AEW, New Japan, WWE, Impact, the list goes on and on and on. We're all wrestling fans here. Well, some people grew up um a certain way. I mean, I, I remember when I was a kid. And, um, you know, they formed like the ABA and, um, you know, American Basketball Association and, and rival sports leagues like the NHL had rivals, you know, not not so much like in football because the NFL was so dominant and nobody else sure. really competed, but where they would take the top stars. And, and I guess this happened a little bit with the um, USFL where, where um, you know, like a top star would leave and the, the fans would be furious at the top star for leaving like you're a traitor you know, to make, you know, and usually they were offered way, way more, more money to go to the lower league or the, the fledgling league and, and the player. And it's just like, you know, they just wanted those leagues to go away because they didn't want this type of thing to happen. Even though it was, if you really like the sport, it's the greatest thing. There's new ideas with a new league and it opens up more jobs and you know, that it's, it's a good thing. But I, and I think that what happened was you, you had a generation where, where WWF was so dominant and all of a sudden there were little chinks in the armor and, and AEW did much better than most people expected. Yeah. And then there was a thing of denying it. And now WWF turned it WWE's turned it around. And more yeah. power to them for doing it. I mean, you know, I I mean I have never had any issues with somebody doing well, you know. Yeah. And I mean I mean it's it was funny because the most stuff, the most negative stuff that I would get every week and I was not the only one is when you list the ratings and if um when AEW was doing good, it was really toxic, you know, from people trying. And now where AEW is still doing good, but it's not doing what it was. Um, you know, now it's like they're failing, they're dying. And it's like, look, like last week, they were number six of every show on cable and entertainment and number 11 overall yeah. for the week, you know, and like what number three for the night. And it's like, this is great numbers, you know, and people going like, I can't get a million. And it's like, no. Number one, that 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 total viewer number doesn't really matter to people these days. And even if it did, I mean, the number of households that get cable is so far down. Like I told people, oh. like, a million people when AEW started would be seven hundred eighty thousand today because of the loss of the homes, and mm -hmm. they beat seven eighty. And even if they didn't, whatever place you're in, you know what I mean. This number, you know, as cable dwindles, you know, as more and more people don't get cable because they're watching other things whether it's netflix or whatever you know the um you know the the numbers will dwindle wwe's gone up which is incredible yeah. in this time frame and that's the thing if if wwe had stayed even that's a big plus because everybody else is going down 20 percent, which is which is scary because then what happens 10 years from now with all these declines and um you know with the money you know then that that is the one scary thing is but th there'll be money from somewhere else you know i mean like there'll be money from streaming companies that are looking to get a foothold and AEW is a good one and WWE is a great one for for you know any company because you got a built-in audience